It started with a single drop. Ugh. She was just a shape on the side of her face, her arm with the watering can above him, and then gone. When Tariq first moved into his cousin's flat, it was winter. He'd never seen the people who lived in the flat above, or even thought about them being there. London, with its stackable homes and congested lives, was just a place he'd ended up. Yeah, bro. Enjoy the flat. Ladies love a man with his own place, right? <laughs> yeah, um, we're taking the baby to meet her grandparents. I'll see you in March at the family thing. He thought he'd be gone by spring, on to the next place. Like it had been for the six years since he graduated. A job here, a place to stay there. Now, he could hardly remember that kind of thoughtless freedom. This world and our country over the next few months. Alas, I don't know what you want level with only to the new level. At least he had a few feet of outdoor space on his balcony, a concrete strip that ran down the back of the block. There were a few pots his cousin had left, a sickly grey vine and a kind of geranium. Back then, people said it was important to have projects. You grow a greener thumb and part of that is making use of your food scraps. So cultivate that like button for boss onion sprouts. And you, tell me, what are you doing with your time then? Uh, I'm doing lots of things. Lots of things, uh... Like what? Are you out? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the park. Are you being careful? No, I'm licking people. I'm licking everyone. I... He did push-ups. He read his cousin's terrible books. He cooked foods from home. He watched old basketball games. He lived, like everyone, in the dying echo of a past he'd never imagined would pass. Then came the drop. Ugh. Molly didn't see him then. Her balcony was such a mess. She didn't know if she was watering weeds or plants. She lived there for three years and she was ashamed. What did it say about her? She Zoomed her mum every night, and her work friends, and her sister, and her cousins at least once a week. And she organised quizzes, and signed up to volunteer, and did online meditations, and worried while she was doing it that she wasn't doing it right. Things are always in flux. Can it really help alleviate this tendency we have of sort of craving? Life had become smaller but the expectations she had for herself squatted menacingly above her, larger than ever. Her boyfriend, on the other hand, was simply excited about using the barbecue when it was warm enough. What do you miss most? Nothing. Everything we need here, don't we? Now we don't have to go out. Uh, I suppose so. You just need to relax. Come here. Ooh. So, Tariq found himself waiting for her. He told himself he just wanted the fresh air, but April was struggling to take hold, and the London weather was predictably itself. Oh, hey. Oh my god, I didn't see you. No, it's okay, it's, it's fine. Are you okay? Me? Oh, you mean because of because the... Because of the situation. Because of these unprecedented times. Yeah. Yeah? Good? Um, are you okay? Do you need anything? No, do you? Sorry, you said. <laughs> I'm Tariq. Molly. It's my birthday. Oh my god, no way. Um... He didn't know why he said it. What are you doing? I mean, nothing. You should do something. <laughs> like what? And it just went on. The weather got better and they found themselves outside more and more. 
Molly's boyfriend noted that she seemed more chill. You seem more chill. Tariq had never felt lonely in his life. He'd never wanted more than his own thoughts. But as things got worse and worse, and people frantically reached out to each other for online quiz nights and family Zoom sessions, digital versions of humanity's great cancelled party, he wondered if there was something wrong with him. And he felt the loss of having lost nothing. They exchanged phone numbers for emergencies. And in a week or so, texting led to calling. We have too much butter. I'll, I'll put it through your letterbox. If you're sure. Yeah, totally. Who do you live with? Oh. Uh, I mean, sorry, did that sound creepy? Just a housemate. One person. She didn't know why she said it. Just wondering. Hey, um... Do you want to, like, meet up? Short Distance Relationship Written by Chloe Myerson Directed by Nico Pimpar Starring Tom Blake as the narrator Nico Pimpar as Tariq Chloe Myerson as Molly Also featuring Motion Gafari Leila Aj and Matthew Egan Edited by Peter Brook Music by Will Handysides Performed by Ben Handysides and Will Handysides a Monkhead production. This play was recorded in self-isolation. All cast and crew worked from home using their own equipment. Stay safe.